Denver rocks, and that's why we've won a few awards lately. Plus, Swansea plays with some new park ideas and using simple chalk to make works of art. I'm Rebecca Jacobson, and here's what's happening in your city now. Think award season is over? Not so fast. Denver 8 TV was recently honored by industry professionals with two of these, the Telly Award. In the category of general entertainment, Denver 8 TV's Red Rocks premieres garnered a bronze award. Right, everybody, put your hands together, get really excited for the other black. The program highlights local bands who play at Red Rocks before the film on the rocks. The winning entry featured Denver favorite, The Other Black. Also in this category, the regional Emmy Award winning show, D-Town, was honored for a program titled, Love This Place. Cans, papers, glass, plastics. Do you want all of this in a landfill? Heck no. Congratulations to the talented Denver 8 TV staff and crews on these well-deserved awards. Here in my home park of Swansea, uh, behind me you see some of our original equipment since I was a kid, you know, nine, ten years old. I used to play on this equipment. Swansea Park is getting a makeover and it's all thanks to the neighborhood's youngest residents. So this is concept right here and this is a youth driven process. So the youth actually picked out what elements are going to be in the new playground. This is Todos Activos, a partnership between Denver Parks and NDCC to engage youth to design active play spaces in Globeville, Illyria and Swansea. I went to this uh, field trip and they had a zip line. I was thinking of doing a playground of an obstacle course, so I decided to pick a zip line. It's a great opportunity to teach kids about design and how their neighborhood is affected by how streets are designed, how parks are designed. And so the kids were just thrilled. They're like, are you kidding? You mean our ideas could actually turn into a new playground? To get involved, check out Todos Activos at denvergov.org slash NDCC. Election season is here. Primary ballots were mailed out this week. To help kick off the season, a new 24-hour ballot drop-off box was unveiled. It was named in honor of Carla Madison, a widely admired city council member who passed away in 2011. The ballot box is located at the Carla Madison Recreation Center on East Colfax and Josephine Street. The information on where all 27 are located, that information will come in your ballot packet. And you can also go to our website, denvervotes.org, and click on our primary election 2018 page and see all the locations throughout the city. Carla felt that the democratic process was super important and that, um, that people get out and vote. This year's primary will be a little different as unaffiliated voters will receive two ballots, one for Democrats and one for Republicans. They can use either ballot, but should only return one ballot, or their vote will not be counted. Remember to vote early and get your ballot in by 7 p.m. on Election Day, Tuesday, June 26th. Uh, this is the uh, Denver Chalk Art Festival 2018. It's the 16th year the festival is run here. This is my 15th year as a participant in the festival. And I've been a featured artist for, oh, maybe 10 years. I love the, the drawing, you know, just the, just the whole ambiance of the festival is nice, interacting with people, demystifying the art process for people. Um, they usually don't get to see an artist's work. So this is a, kind of a treat for them, I think. The past two years, we've had the American Museum of Western Art that houses the Anshins Collection sponsor us. Everybody always brings something new and different to the table, and uh, I'm always excited to see what somebody comes up with. Most artists, once they get a feel for this and do it once, they tend to come back. I've known people here for 15 years, so we're like a little community, a little family. This is the best festival in Denver every year, and each year it gets better and bigger and more dynamic. June is Pride Month, and Denver's celebration kicks off with a 5K race and Family Pride events on June 16th at Civic Center Park. Then join the parade on June 17th starting at 9 a.m. in Cheeseman Park. Check out denverpride.org for more information. You can catch a new episode of Your City Now every Friday. Thanks for watching, Denver. Denver.